it just sounded the coolest. I mean, working on airplanes sounded cooler than working on roads and bridges and stuff like that. So um, honestly, it, that's how I picked it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my name is Candice Levin, and um, I am the youngest of five children. Um, I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area in California. Um, uh, I've been married for 22 years. I have two adult stepchildren, two high schoolers, and three grandchildren. Um, I majored in aeronautical engineering um, and why is interesting. So I liked math and science um, and luckily my high school had an elective called intro to engineering. So I took that and um, they just had uh, people from different engineering fields come in and talk about their jobs. Like I didn't even know that there were so many different engineering disciplines, you know, when I was thinking about engineering. So that was really good. Um, and how I ended up doing aeronautical engineering was, it just sounded the coolest. I mean, working on airplanes sounded cooler than working on roads and bridges and stuff like that. So um, honestly, it, that's how I picked it. <laughs> that my job was actually a propulsion flight test engineer and how I chose that particular career, you know, not just aeronautical engineering, but as a flight test engineer was because like in college, I realized that I was not good at design. I, I was not creative. I could not, you know, come up, come up with stuff. De design was my worst class. And um, I was definitely better at like editing or checking to see if things were correct. And so um, flight test worked out great because I didn't have to come up with it. I just needed to figure out if it did what it was supposed to do. Um, I worked as a um, civil servant for the Air Force. I was not in the Air Force. Um, and um, they had a program that actually uh, paid for college classes. So I was able to take uh, master's courses actually on the base, which was nice because I would do it after work. Um, and I was able to earn my master's degree actually paid for by my work. And then I even had a better deal where I got into a program called long-term full-time training, um, where, um, the Air Force decided there were certain areas that they wanted some expertise in. And, um, one of them was in the propulsion section. And so I applied for this program and I got to go back to school, um, full-time, with my normal salary um, and they gave me like a thousand dollars a month living expenses. And I went back and studied um, feedback controls and um, combustion, like specific things. I took um, higher level undergrad courses and some master's courses. I did not get a degree out of it because um, I actually already had my master's degree, but it was just additional um, learning and um, it was awesome to go, to be in college, completely paid. It's the best way to go. <laughs> um, the favorite part of my job was, um, well, so I actually, I was an aeronautical engineering major, but uh, the job I had was propulsion flight test engineer. So I did flight test um, basically on engines. Um, obviously they had to be in an airplane. But uh, my favorite part was actually um, monitoring a flight. So when a new airplane, um, when either a new air, whole new airplane comes out or if just a newly designed part or even new software comes out, it has to get tested and it, and it gets flight tested. Um, so before that, obviously it gets, you know, created, built, uh, put in an airplane and um, test engineers come up with uh, test points to test what it was supposed to do. Okay, so um, then 
after it's all ready and everything's approved, when it goes to do the actual flight test, um, people like me, flight test engineers, would be in a control room watching, sounds kind of boring, but watching data that is transmitted from the airplane um, to make sure that it's safe, basically. We are really safety monitors. Um, so, but it was always exciting, especially if it was a brand new airplane or you know something done for the first time. So that was my favorite part was actually when the airplane was flying. And the other thing with working um, in the job I did, I got to I got to fly in um, in a tanker to watch a C-17 get refueled. I got to a couple of flights in an F-16, uh, which made me very sick, but it was really cool. <laughs> um, and then also. I got to spend a week on an aircraft carrier, all as part of, part of my job. One interesting thing also about my job is that, I guess you would call it a desk job, but I didn't just sit at my desk. You know, I, I did have to go out. I mean, yes, I did meetings and whatnot, but, but yeah, we did go out to the airplane and check stuff. I used to go um, to Pratt & Whitney in Florida and watch them do um, engine runs on a big engine stand. Um, so, although I guess theoretically it's a desk job, it, it, it did have some cool perks. Well, for me, it was probably writing the final report um, because you had to comb through tons and tons of data, pick out the most pertinent thing and come up with a conclusion to say whether the system actually did what it was supposed to do or not. You know, um, so I actually worked for the Air Force. So we were the customer, you know, the, uh, the airplane manufacturer was the uh, doing something for us. And then we just had to check it to make sure it did what it was really supposed to do. So for me, it was the writing, just, it's not my uh, forte, so. I think it was working with a team and getting things done. You know, we had, um, like especially in, not just during the actual monitoring of a flight, but just all the workup for it. There was, you know, a pilot, there was a test conductor, there were um, probably at least a dozen engineers involved in just a single flight. Um, so just having to coordinate all that, um, I think that was the most rewarding, just the people part of it. Um, well, there weren't actually very many uh, women in engineering at my school when I uh, was in college. I think it was only like 13%. So um, I didn't necessarily feel any kind of, you know, animosity from the males or anything like that. Um, there was pretty good camaraderie and stuff, but, you know, it, was, it made it a little difficult just not having that many females to kind of bond with. Um, and then some of the classes were actually really hard took a lot of work, <laughs> um, but again, I think uh, I did a lot of study groups, so working with people um, helped. Um, well, since I keep mentioning about working with people, obviously working with the team, you know, um, being able to speak up when you need to, as well as being humble, like in, you know, if you're wrong, um, uh, you, need to, you need to have attention to detail, especially in um, that job because you're looking at a lot of data and you have to know what it's supposed to look like because you know, you're watching these streams of data come across as a flight is going on. So um, you just need to be able to focus and have attention to detail. Um, well, uh, my career, when I started my career, I was not, uh, married. And then, um, near the end of my career, I was, um, I got married and had stepchildren. So, um, that was interesting, just changing that, um, lifestyle. But then, um, ultimately, um, I ended up, um, quitting, um, because my, um, my husband and stepkids moved to another state. So at first um, I just commuted 
um, but I didn't live with them during the week. I just saw them on the weekend. So that was kind of difficult. So ultimately um, I ended up quitting so that I could live with my family. Um, so I guess it definitely affected my family life. <laughs> Um, so I think a lot of it had to, um, okay, so I want to preface this actually, I think it actually affected my faith life a whole lot more once I actually was married because my husband was a test pilot. So I, I knew the risks and the dangers and I needed to, um, trust God with it. You know, I, I also needed, even when I was uh, just working though, I needed to um, rely on God to make sure that I was making good decisions, wise decisions. I would, um, because really I, I could be making life, life or death decisions for the pilot, you know, if I didn't catch something. Um, so I did, you know, need to ask, God to make sure I was doing the right thing and, and being clear headed and um, making wise choices and decisions. My tips would be uh, do well in school, study hard, obviously. Um, um, definitely focus on math and I would say just if you are interested in it, you just go for it. Um, it does just take perseverance and um, tenacity. One, because the, the study is hard. I would just work hard and go for it. 